Hi, in this tutorial we are going to use OpenCV functions in order to solve the Wally puzzle. So if you're not familiar, this is the Wally puzzle. We are looking for this person, this uh, Wally. So we are going to take this uh, beach picture and we are going to look for Wally. And how we are going to do it? We are going to look for, we take one image and we look for this image inside another image. So this will be the process. So let's uh, start coding. Inside my repo, I will uh, store both images. This is the Waldo Beach image. And the second one is the Waldo uh, picture. So uh, basically we are going to take the Waldo picture and look Look for it inside the Waldo pitch, beach picture. So let's create a, a Python file. And here we're going to do all the, the coding inside finding waldo.pi. So the first process will be import CV2. I believe that you already installed uh, the CV2 uh, library. Then we are going to, to load our uh, first image, our uh, Waldo Beach image. A very simple uh, process. And afterwards we are going to show this image as well. Okay, let's run it. I believe we are going to see the first image. Okay, fine. Let's continue to the second step. The second step is loading the, the Waldo image, but we are not going to load it uh, as a color image, but as gray grayscale image. So it's the same function but we are going to add uh, another parameter, this uh, zero parameter, and it will load as grayscale. And of course, we are going to show this image as well next to the first image. Okay, so now we can see both images, one in grayscale and the second one is in color. Next step. Now we are going to convert our first image, the Waldo Beach image, to grayscale as well, because in order to do the comparison between uh, both images and look for one image inside another image we need that both will be in grayscale however we are not going to reload it again since as a, a final result we would like to show the color image and inside the color image we would like to uh, show the position of Wally so we are changing it into grayscale and we are presenting both images so now both images are in grayscale and we are ready to do the, the detection. So how can we look, uh, take one image and look for it inside another image? We are going to use uh, two functions, two OpenCV functions. The first uh, uh, function uh, is called match template and we are going to send to this uh, function both uh, images the the beach image and the waldo image and the third the uh, uh, third argument 
that it's uh, based on uh, uh, CV2 called PM underscore CCOEFF. Then we are going to run uh, another function that extract the, the results and get the, the, the points of uh, or the position of the, of the detections. It's called min max and we are going to send the result as an argument and let's print the, the max value uh, sorry the, the max underscore uh, LOC and basically it will be the, the detection of the of the world you can see this is the X and the Y so let's continue let's uh, uh, create a, a circle uh, around this uh, position and it will help us to, to detect and see more clearly where is Waldo. So in order to draw a circle, we use cv2.circle. We are going to send several arguments. First of all, the, the image. And the next argument is the x and y, which is the max underscore lock. Then we are going to send a, choose a color. Let's, for example, choose a blue color, 255, uh, zero, zero and the 10 represent the, the radius of the circle and the 2 represent the, the thickness. Let's show it again. I uh, replaced back the original image, the, the color images, the color image. Uh, I believe that we should draw a rectangle. It will be more effective. So let's create a, 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 another a variable. One is for the top left and the second one is for the bottom right since a rectangle uh, in order to, to draw a rectangle we, we need these uh, two points. So let's extract the information uh, using uh, our max underscore lock variable. We will add a, a, a 50, 50 pixel to create a, 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 full, uh, a full rectangle. So we are uh, sending to rectangle functions the image, the, the top left position, the bottom right position. We are going to choose a color, a blue color. And let's run it again. As you can see, we draw a rectangle around uh, Waldo. So basically we solved the problem. Let's add uh, another function, let's say, um, save our new image with the Waldo detection so we can use it later so we will use the cv2.im write and let's choose the file name and send the, the image variable as well so thank you very much hope you enjoy this fun tutorial you are most welcome to subscribe to my channel and you can comment this video and ask for and more tutorials. Thank you very much and bye bye.